you're paying MUFON sheep. The European MUFON sheep originated from the islands of Corsica and Sardinia. They range in body weight from 90 to 120 pounds, the rams. Ewes usually weigh in about 50 to 75 pounds. And uh, they stand anywhere from 27 to 35 inches tall. With the ewes only measuring about 25 to 30 inches also. Uh, the European mouflon sheep is thought to be the originator of all domestic sheep. So in America, all your domestic sheep originally somewhere come started out with the MUFON sheep. MUFON sheep is not native to the United States. They're an exotic animal and they're found in zoos and uh, private owned farms and such as this. But MUFON sheep, they're a very sought after animal. There's a good market for these animals. Uh, people use them, hunting ranches use them. There's a big demand for people like to hunt them. And they're, very, they're not an easy hunt. I, can, I compare them to a white-tailed deer. Uh, if you can kill a white-tailed deer, you might be able to kill one of these. They can survive anywhere that a normal white-tailed deer could survive and they're found uh, to be hanging out with white-tailed deer in the wild and in some nat nature parks. Take a look at this ram right here. He's a two-year-old ram. Now the yellow ram right there, he's what you call a Corsican. He's half mouflon bred to a uh, domestic sheep and that's something like what you end up with right this little yellow sheep right there the ram there's a three and a half year old mouflon sheep a lot of people should sell these sheep by the inch they measure their horns and then they set a price sometimes ranging around eighty dollars an inch uh, personally I, I don't get I, I sell mine by the head. If you look at a sheep and you want to buy him, uh, we'll just come up with a price. Normally, mouflon sheep are uh, around that size right there, $1,000 and up. Like I said, there's a good market for them. But one of the main traits of a mouflon is that his tail can't be no longer than four inches and his horns see how his horns grow in toward his face well they don't necessarily have to grow in toward his face it's as long as the tip to tip measurement is not the widest spread if you take a look at this one right here he's got the heart shaped horns and that's a another characteristic of the mouflon they got heart shaped horns and uh, but the tip to tip can't be the widest spread of the horn. And if you're wanting to score your animal in exotics, the base, the closest part to his head, can't be no bigger than 10 inches. People started crossing these mouflon with the Colorado bighorns and uh, uh, trying to get some bigger basal measurements. So they put a limit on how big the base of the horns can be. But anyhow, I just thought I'd pass this around to you. Some of you probably know or are familiar with the mouflon. Some of you may not be. Uh, these mouflon that you're looking at, they're in Rogersville, Tennessee. They're owned by me, Larry Dow. Uh, I've owned mouflon for approximately 10 years. I really enjoy fooling with them, and uh, like I see, if anybody's interested uh, in finding out more about these mouflon, you're welcome to give me a call at 423-921-0670. Again, my name's Larry. Let's take a look at the fence. 
uh, I have a just a typical four foot fence and I have, don't have a problem with them staying in it. They're just a standard T-post, uh, woven wire, and like I, I never had any trouble out of them. Once they decide that this is where they're going to live, they're pretty calm and they they tend to stay right here at home. Uh, the ewes, they only have one baby a year. And the rams, they come in rut, much like your white-tailed deer, you know, they go through a rut in the fall of the year and they breed. And decide their dominance, the rams do by button heads. And But, like I said, they're, they've just been fun to fool with. And uh, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. And uh, for... Anybody that's interested for more information, you can email me at LarryDowTN at Yahoo.com. And I'll just leave it at that. We'll look at some sheep for a little while and have fun. Thanks.